Hello and welcome to this video discussing Ladysmith Station and the Wagga Wagga to Tumbarumba, to Tumbarumba Railway Line. I do apologise for the mispronunciation. It is a slightly difficult word to say. My name is Ben Summers and I'm from Morris Hillman Productions. Um, and I thought I and I was in I was in Juni a few days ago and I thought I'd make a video about Ladysmith Station. Between 1855 and the 20th century, New South Wales developed an extensive railway network which reached into the far corners of the state. Much of this occurred under Chief Engineer John Whitten, an Englishman whose vision and drive were to lay the foundations of the system. Whitten held the position of, of Chief Engineer from 1857 to 1890, a remarkable 30 three-year stint. Under his watch, the system underwent a major growth spurt, connecting many towns and cities. One of the former was Ladysmith, located on the branch line from Wagga Wagga to Tumbarumba in southern New South Wales. Running 80 miles, 129 kilometres in length, the line was first proposed back in 1881 during Witten's tenure though it wasn't until 1917 that construction actually commenced. This work would be completed in stages until final completion of the, of the route in 1921. In 1974, the route fell victim to severe flooding and washaways, leading ultimately to the withdrawal of passenger services that year, with the route essentially closing in 1987. Since then, most of the stations have been, have been demolished. The exceptions are Ladysmith, maintained by the Ladysmith Tourist Railway Incorporated Historical Group, and Boram and Borumbola. Sadly, Tumbarumba Station was lost in a grass fire in 2001 before a local heritage group could start work on restoring the building. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe for more content.